Whatever. Hi, Playmates, it's Arista here, and of day's fake core awakened Xeon. Holy moly, right? He looks absolutely stunning, and his unstoppable skill purging barrier from the attack target if the enemy has a barrier, and nullify buff for 8 turns, increasing critical hit. You know, even for a Vagabond hero that only pretty much has Schmade and Soa and Awakened Xeon, as a gold fake wall, I really think that he's worth it, you know, not only in style but also in his skill set because, you know, I, I mean, his skill is actually not too bad and uh, very much comparable to, like, the other regular Xeon that we have. But, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, I actually haven't even looked at his skill because he was part of Vagabond. Vagabond, I'm sorry. And, like, because I knew I wasn't really going to use Vagabond as a nation, I didn't look at it. But then since he looked cool, I looked at the skills and I was like, hmm, you know, this is actually gonna be worth investing in. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull for him. I have enough sets to pity. Um, and, you know, as with most fake cores, it is really worth it for you to at least get like two copies of a fake core just because of the fusion upgrade, especially that attack speed. I really, really like the uh, extra attack speed that the fake core fusion can give. Hopefully, high on the first roll, but you know, it doesn't always have to be. And why is there like a weird, like, um, like a little weird, I think it's like graphic glitch, right? It wasn't there before. Um, on the top right, wait, I'm gonna go ahead and show this after Ferg gives us a little snap and let's go. See? I guess it's like an overlay that they did on the <laughs> on the animation skill to kind of give it that bronze effect and it's getting cut off anyway. So it's been a while since we did a summon session here, right? Or oh! Oh, I thought it froze for a second. See, like if I click, I know. So now I have a surefire way to know if something exciting is coming, so maybe I won't blow out your ear gems this time because I know what's coming. Um, so here we go. Oh, Fergie just recruited herself. How weird would that be? Like you sent out a recruitment message for your airship and you signed up yourself. Um, do you get to choose your own pay and role within the airship squad too? Um, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, that was just totally random. So let's go ahead and... Oh, Sabrina. You know, Sabrina, she... Uh, you know, she... Wait, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. I just kind of totally lost my train of thought there. But anyway, um, like I said, so I'm gonna try to get at least two copies of Xeon um, this time just for the fusion. And it's not skipping! Okay, so this is gonna be something exciting. Is it gonna be Xeon? One, two... It is a fake core, and it is... Yay! It is Xeon! Okay, so yes. Oh. Oh. Am I the only one that's getting like Valentine, Vincent Valentine vibes from him right now? Oh, he looks pretty cool. Look, his drawing like fantastic goal and like him. Now, I, I think the hair looks a little bit better in his drawing, but his outfit actually looks pretty... Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, did I wait? I just got him in seven pulls too. Okay, so I now know for sure that I am going to have at least two copies of him, which is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and at least go to pity. Like I said, you know, I think he's definitely worth investing into, especially because I believe this. Um, what you might call it? Wait, it's not skipping again. It's not skipping again. Um, let's see. Um. Another fake coin. Okay, so we are going to get. <gasps> no way. No way. Oh wow, that's that is almost literally back to back. <gasps> this is really. You know what they say, you should always stop while you're ahead. You always stop. I said I just wanted two copies, but hey, you know, since I already have two. Technically, I could get a plus two fusion, right? So maybe if I get a bad roll on the first one, then I could get a... It's not, it's not skipping again! Wait, okay, oh, it's another fake one! It's like gonna be, it's like gonna be! Oh, shoot, guys. No! How many of you guys are like totally pulling out your hair and saying, No way! <laughs> like I am! I'm stunned. I'm stunned. That's three copies of a gold fake core awakened Xeon in ten 
poles. <sighs> okay, so you know what? Yes, the saying goes, you know, if you, you should stop while you're ahead, but you know, it's it's just 14 more poles for a plus three, right? So for the fake core memory, let's go ahead, let's go. Um, and maybe I will get another Xeon, and maybe I could get just a plus five within the 28 poles. We're gonna go for plus five and 28 poles, guys. Plus five and 28 poles. Um, wait, but this is this is just really weird. Like this just never has happened to me before. I mean, I've gotten uh, the fake core in the first pole. I've gotten you know. Um, maybe two fake cores. I've got to miss these in these random pulls, but ooh, getting three copies of the gold fake core within ten. Oh my gosh, that's just. Mm, mm, I think this is just like a, one of those one of a lifetime things that might have happened, all because Xeon, he looks cool. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so technically speaking, he comes from like a really bad or not not a bad but a sad background. I don't know if you guys read. But technically, um, in this particular timeline, Xeon, Awakened Xeon is actually the leader of Vagabond because Schmid has, I think, been killed or he died or something like that. And so it's actually pretty sad. But as I mentioned, you know, one of the other reasons why I think he's a worthwhile... Ooh, Karina. I haven't seen Karina in a while. That sexy little gal. Anyway, um, one of the reasons why I think he was a worthwhile investment is because, as I mentioned, Soa is on the same uh awake not awaken this um end of times theme and so they will get that critical uh hit boost and you know she as a healer is actually not too bad um i know that she already has a different fake core which uh, the orange fake core which actually doesn't mean anything um does, does she have any other fake core i don't really recall no, I don't think so, but I think this black fake core is gonna be really good for her, especially if it also removes, you know, barriers. Um, there are still like quite a few heroes out there that does instigate barriers and not just the first guardian. Um oh! Oh, I did I skip again. Oh, I was so excited there for a second. I got really surprised. Anyway, um so let um so I think this um yeah, I can't speak. I think this uh, <laughs> uh, this combination with Schmid um, on the team is actually going to be something worthwhile to kind of look into um, later down on the road. Now, I am also kind of opposed to like uh, line games just kind of expanding the fake core theme so much because it really doesn't like fully it, it doesn't really allow players to fully fully utilize the fake core theme uh which my colleague advances for the gold fake course to get the additional buffs to the same uh team members oh it's just gonna go oh my gosh here we go for Xeon, for Xeon, let's go for Xeon. we're gonna go and we have <laughs> okay we have morris that's okay Oh, he's so adorable. Look at that. <laughs> he got scared because of the kitty cat. Ah, uh, he you just gotta love Morris. His his personality, especially with Murti, is really cute too. Uh, and his Bunga version is just too tight for, but uh, I think I already have him at plus five, so it doesn't really matter to me too much. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um Okay, so <laughs> I guess um, at the rate that we are going at right now, we won't have a plus 5 Xeon, but at least with the pity, we'll have a plus 3 Xeon. And Fergie, thank you so much. You've been so wonderful. I guess your recruitment skills has gone up um, throughout these, I guess, a year and a half of pulling. Or it hasn't been already two years. I think it's been about a year and a half, right? Okay, so we have about five pulls left to go. I still think that if you guys have been around for that collab, um, which I'm gonna call it, uh, the Chu, the well, I can't recall what the name of the anime was, but that collab with Belle, um, and uh, oh my gosh, I can't recall her name anyway. But that animation was cute. If you know what I'm talking about, um, there was also that time where Fergie was in that uh, in the Hanbok as well when it was pulling i think she looked really pretty in that too but i think her regular outfit is the best um i am mean, really looking forward to fergie getting her fake core as well i think that'll be really sweet Ooh, diva and a pit pull all right so maybe maybe like okay so this is gonna be the last pull fergie are you gonna surprise me with like a fourth copy of zeon before we go no 
Okay, I guess that. Okay, well, regardless, that's uh, what four copies of Gold Fake or Zeon in this poll session. Not gonna complain. There we go. He looks super cool. I don't think I'm gonna get his exclusive weapon just because I'm gonna save obsessed for the next one. All right, so that's it for my uh, awakened Zeon pulls. It looks like I got pretty lucky this time. Hope you guys had awesome luck too. Let me know down below how your polls for Awakened Zeon go and if you're willing to give Vagabond a try now that they have a pretty cool fake court theme going along with them. And if you like random gaming content, especially on mobile gacha games, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I post every Wednesday and weekends. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and take care.